Shashubi. 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 Hey guys, and welcome back to another Sims video. As you guys can see, we are in the new stream setup at the new apartment, so it is a little bare. There shouldn't be too much echo. We were able to put up some soundboard um, so that it cancels out some of the echo. So guys, let me know if it sounds okay in the, the comments below. We're going to be changing some things, of course, as we move in. There's going to be some fun stuff behind us for more decor to come in the future that I'm super excited about. But you guys aren't here to know about the stream setup or the display behind me. You guys are here for another Tiger's Den episode featuring myself and Tomato. Now, I don't know if you guys saw in the last episode that we posted, myself and Tomato created Mia, Vahira, and Flurry. We currently have Flurry and Mia in the household. Vahira will come on later down the road due to the fact that he was not with us when we first started dating. It was just Flurry and Mia. So we're going to start with that. They are in the house. They are ready to go. And the last time that we were here, we left on New Year's Eve and they had just started dating. So it's going to be a lot of fun in this episode. I have so much planned and why don't we just jump right into the Tiger's Den and get started. All right, let's see what we got going. Real quick while she's... Oh, look how cute she is. There's a Mia in a flurry and they're so cute together. And I thought it was a whole lot later in this episode than it actually was. It's only 8 a.m. Also, one thing that I've changed since the last episode is we have gone in and we have changed all of our MCC command settings. We have changed all of our autonomous settings so there will be more autonomous uh, mean, and autonomous mischief, random proposals and random marriages, all that fun stuff. And I've also changed the percentages of like Risky Woohoo and to make it a little bit more realistic, um, there are a couple more things that I want to change in the future, such as I know one of them for a fact um, allows you to have more than one best friend. And I really want to do that because I feel like that's more realistic because you can have more than one best friend. I had a couple people ask what this is. For those of you that do not play Sims, um, when you live in the apartments of city living, when there is a new note or something that needs to be read about, in this case, there's a festival going on. The board will light up saying, hey, there's something over here. Come check me out. Tomato got really confused when he was watching the video. So that's what that's all about. Let's see if the shower has been fixed since the last time we played. If you guys remember, we were not able to actually take a shower. We could only take, she just walked through the wall. We could only take baths. So let's see if that bug has been fixed. And it has, hallelujah, because Tomato does not look good when he takes a bath. He is just too darn freaking tall. She just sleeping in the kitchen. She's so cute. I'm gonna like get completely sidetracked by having these pets in the game. Not gonna lie, because I absolutely love them. But what I was saying is some of the outfits have changed since the last time that we recorded because unfortunately some of the custom content is gone. Um, I had a mass <laughs> mass change in my custom content, so I try to keep it pretty similar to what she was previously wearing. But not everything is the same, and I've also added some new outfits. So I absolutely love this shirt because it's got the little got the little hearts on it. Oh, he's focused. He's focused. Uh, play video games real quick. Play video games. No, play video games. Play video games. You can't eat yet. You're in focus mode. You're in focus mode. I need you to play video games for two hours straight while focused. Oh, poor baby. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to Mia. Calm her down a little bit. That guy was just invisible. It's fine. Um, let's go ahead and pet her. Give her some love. Ah, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Oh, she's just so cute. My Mia, we're gonna go bring her for a walk, too. Can we get a hug? Can we get a hug going on? Be funny. <laughs> oh! Guys, just look at that! She is so cute! So why don't we go bring Miss Mia for a W-A, okay? I gotta, I gotta spell it out, guys, because she's in hearing distance. And I don't want her to think I'm talking about right now, because, you know, we're kind of recording this video. We can't stop and go take care of it. Um, let's get to know her. Oh, we also got to tell her that she needs to go and be nice. We want to encourage her being nice to Flurry because Flurry and Mia get along really well in real life, as well as Vahira and Flurry and Vahira and Mia. We want them all to get along really well. She is hot-headed, but she's, she's, oh, don't go barking at your sister, you little demon dog. That is so 
cute, guys. Oh, what the heck just happened? That's not realistic. She doesn't have a collar on. But we're gonna go for a WLK with this pupperoo. Coming downstairs from the apartment. She doesn't bark this much. Let's be clear about this, though. My dog does not bark this much. Oh, she's just like, hi there. Um, Alice Martin? How are you? How are you, Alice? Let's uh, introduce ourselves to... Oh, introduce Mia. Wait, no. Okay, well, we're walking away, I guess. Okay. They're just weaving and wadding and doing what they need to do in order to get those steps in for the day. Now, I think we're going back to the apartment now. Did we get the two hours? Make a video game or app. Oh, he is so hungry. Why aren't you doing stuff on your own over here, buddy boy? Clement Frost, as in, aka Father Winter, is asking us to go to the romance festival with him. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. But you know what we are- Oh, Flurry, you're such a good little kitten! Okay, I don't want to go to the talent show with you either. So this little uh, cat box actually shoots laser out of his eyes to get rid of the poop. See, look at it! Told you guys, you didn't believe me. Go hype your next video. Go tell them that you have this awesome video that's coming out that you are super excited about. Get some surprises coming in the tiger's den. And they are not going to want to miss it. Study trends. What is good right about now? Herbalism, kids, charisma, and confident vlog. She is now confident and we can go do a confident vlog. Because that's something that's trending right now. Record video. Confident vlog. Now I have no idea what I'm going to call this confident vlog. But you know, we're going to just, we're just going to go for it guys. We're just going to go for it. Now, one thing that I do really want is Mia is a really well-trained dog. Okay, I want to teach her how to lie down. Bob has acquired the pet training skill. He will be able to train dogs to sit, speak, fetch, roll over, and lie down, as well as show off their pet to other sims. Good girl. Good girl, Mia. So once he's done that, we'll give her a little treat. She's doing so good. She's being such a pup. Good pup -roo. Ooh, you know what we could do? Her, her confident vlog could have something to do with the fact that she's an awesome pet owner. That's something that we could do. Mia has officially learned to lie down! So let's go ahead and give her a treat because she was such a good dog. So we're going to title this confident vlog in the theme of having pets, why I am the best pet owner. Hashtag truth. Let's see how much money that brings into the household. She's doing good so far. She's almost making two grand in this video royalty. So that's doing pretty good. darn freaking good if you ask me. Shishubi. 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 So why don't you come over here, do a New Year's Eve toast and celebrate with your boyfriend. Inside joke. You guys got this. Reveal deep secret. Tell him that you're super excited. Ah, the kitten is eating some food. You're super excited about how your future will go with each other. And why are we watching children throw stuff on the floor? Okay. New Year's Eve was awful. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Actually, he needs to get some leftovers too. I think I'm gonna have him celebrate the new year in a very special way, guys. There's only one way to actually bring in the new year properly. And that's with some woohoos! Ah, uh, I don't want him to eat beans. Especially if they're about to bring in the new year the proper way. Hopefully, he doesn't start stinking up the bedroom until- I really just hope he doesn't stink up the bathroom, to be honest with you. <laughs> or not the bathroom, the bedroom. Oh! <laughs> it's already starting! Well... We're just gonna forget that happened, and we're just gonna go woohoo. We're just gonna go woohoo. We're gonna pretend that that never happened. Now guys, remember, I said that I made a couple changes to the autonomy and stuff in the game. That also has upped the risky woohoo, because let's be realistic, there is always a chance of pregnancy, even with regular woohoos. Like, there's, there's normal causes that can happen, such as, um, your type of birth control isn't as effective, and... All the nine yards, there's so much that would make it less realistic. I also bumped down the try for a baby chances to make sure that it wasn't 100% all the time. I think I said it to like 60% because when you try for a baby in real life, you don't get it on the first go. Not all the time, at least. Some people do, but not everybody. She's going to lay right in front of my stream setup. That's what she does all the time. She's not laying with me right now, but she normally is right in front of my stream setup. Oh, you were literally already in bed. Go to sleep. You passed out on the living room floor. They are both exhausted. Let's follow our little pupperoo around for a little bit, shall we? Oh, she's oh, she's on her bed. Brianna has made 1897 simoleons from her royalty. She hasn't even finished off her, her editing. So as soon as they get up, what I'm going to have them do is I'm going to have them start working on his 
Ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna have him start working on his programming because the next stage of his aspiration is we have already, he's already an adult. He's already level three in the tech guru career. He still needs to make a video game or an app. So that says click on the computer and select make video game or app using the program category. Yeah, we're not, we're not high enough for that yet. So he needs to get his programming skills up just a tick more. Ooh, our little baby girl probably has to go O-U-T. So once one of them is done, probably Brianna will be done before Bob because he's practicing his programming for his career. She kind of is, like, she's a full-time streamer and content creator, but she can really stop whenever to take care of the pupperoo. So I think what I'm going to do is after she's done adding the transition, or she, she's editing the video. So once she's done editing the video, I will have her go ahead and bring the pupperoo out. We're going to leash her up. Oh, no! Well, it looks like you are going to go ahead and repair your TV or your computer because that is your job. You are an IT professional. That's a good girl. Praise her. Oh, 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 I just, okay, I just stepped in it. I just, did you guys see that? Definitely just stepped in it. I don't like them living in the city, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to have them go before they move into their big, big house that they've been looking at. I think I'm going to actually have them move into a smaller place. Right now we have $10,000. Let's say it gets a 30 grand and we can go get a smaller house. The one thing that, I, I mean, I love the city. Don't get me wrong. I really do love the city. But the one downside about being in the city when you have pets is your dog can't freely go outside. Which, I mean, that's realistic. You can't really let your animals go out freely. They can't open the door themselves unless you have a pet door. Like, I get that, um, but it makes it a little bit harder because, say both say both of the parents were at work, then Miss Mia wouldn't be able to go outside by herself. And that's just sad. We don't want her to have accidents inside and feel really bad about herself, right? Like, look how cute she is. So, we are going to go ahead and eat some... I mean, we're eating breakfast at 4 o'clock in the evening. Guys, this is our lives. This is our lives. Sleep in late. It's fun. It is fine. She, oh gosh, you guys, did you see that? She had an option for a pregnancy test. That's not good. I mean, it's only a set at, I think, a 3% risky woohoo rate. Also, guys, like my booby shirt, it pictures of bees and boop. Boobies. Get it? Ha. Ooh, she is tense. Noisy neighbors. So she's gonna go take a bath. I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to get so that she's like doing a lot of like her little moodlets because that's one thing that I struggle with when doing things is like I kind of ignore what the Sims actually want and I kind of just do what I want. Come play with a laser pointer with the kitty. So that's one thing that you want to do and you haven't done it. Stream with the drone. That's one thing she wants to do. So we'll do a, a sh uh, baking stream tomorrow and we'll get that up updated so that she can go ahead and edit it and have it all ready to go she does not have the option anymore to use the pregnancy test so that means she did not get pregnant during whis risky woohoo so that is a good start they are not ready for babies they're still living in this rinky dink apartment where they just took a wall down without the landlord's permission to make a one bedroom apartment because it was two sm small little closets guys i don't know if you have watched any of my streams um live over on twitch but I've been struggling with my glasses since I've gotten them. I don't need them for a daily. Um, they're more so for computer use and reading. But for my glasses users out there who do game, what what are some of the things that you guys do in order to get over the discomfort of wearing your glasses? Because one thing that I have issues with is it pinches behind my ears where the headset pushes. I'm thinking about getting some um, earbuds so that I don't have a, a headset when I'm playing single player games. But if you guys have any ideas on what could possibly help me that has helped you with glasses while gaming, let me know in the comments below because that would be very, very helpful. I've just been struggling hardcore. Where did she just get all that and why did she go in the elevator to get it? We're gonna go study some trends. She can't do anything to the point where like she can't up upload and comment on things. Oh, my dog just walked outside to randomly meet the neighbor, so that's cool. That does not mean you can come into my house just because my dog talked to you. Cool. Thanks. She's going to come study some trends and see what's most popular right about now. Herbalism Kids, Charisma, and Confident Vlog. So that's basically the same stuff that we were already doing. She's super aggravated from noisy neighbors. It says, The blaring sounds from a neighbor's apartment are enough to inspire insomnia and anger. But it won't give me the... Oh, I can go pound on the door. We're going to go do that once we're done this video. We're going to go pound on the door and we're going to complain because it is not respectful to be blasting your music like that. I don't care. We live in an apartment building, guys. You need to be respectful of others. So she is, she's just finished her brownies. 
But what I was saying is she needs to get her... Oh! She got 125 more followers. Oh, oh, oh. She's streaming, pounding on the door. Oh. Yeah, stream it. Oh, oh. Aron? Arun? Arun? You were in one of our Let's Plays not long ago. Complain about anger... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Complain about noisy neighbors. What? Stream it, baby. Stream it. Hey, I live here too. I'm sorry your life is boring. Maybe you should go to the lounge and have some fun of your own. She gained 125 followers from that. But she gained quite about uh, quite a few followers from uh, from doing that stream. And she even they even got some bo bonus bonus information on that stream, not just a baking stream. She went and complained to her neighbors. What? He's not even working hard. He needs to work hard. I'm starving. Want to go grab dinner with me at Uzu Greek restaurant? No, I do not. Mr. Frost, I am in a relationship and I am happy as can be. So we have these awesome little globes. I want to think about different setups so that we can put it behind us so we can actually collect the globes. I don't do a lot of collections in the game. Um, and I think it's a lot of fun when you actually can explore what The Sims actually has to offer. Yay! Bob just got promoted to Ace Engineer. He'll make an additional $16 per hour, making it $63 an hour. That's awesome. He got 633 simoleon bonus, and this, he got the Centiol. He starts tomorrow at 9 a.m. So he'll have Sundays and Mondays off now. Mr. Frost, can you stop calling me? Father Winter just will not leave. Like, literally, that's two messages in a row that he's messaged us. Ooh! The most recent video that Brianna recorded is Catching Waves and has been nominated for an award. Check out the next award ceremony Sunday at 7 p.m. to see if she won. Now, guys, I don't know if that's going to be available in this episode or not, so we'll have to see. He wants to send an angry message, so we're going to let him do that. We're going to send an angry text message to Mr. Frost, and then we're going to go pound on the door because our noisy neighbors decide they want to be jerks every five seconds of every freaking day. Leave passive-aggressive note. Come here. Oh, she. Oh, did you hurt something? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you hurt something while you were blasting your music? I am really sick of hearing your complaints. No one tells me what to do. I'll I'll do what I want. So just chill out. No, you will not. I'm going to literally complain. Complain. She's literally about. She. I don't know what she's doing. Don't be. Don't mean. Don't be mean. Don't be mean to her. Just complain angrily at her. Just complain. She just does not like it. But you know what? Stick, no, stick the dog on her. Nobody Have me attack her. Huh? It's fine. Like, honestly, we can't do anything. It's it's midnight. It is literally midnight. And I can't do anything with the door. This is ridiculous. Some of us has, have full-time jobs, and some of us are full-time streamers, and we need our sleep. Because without our sleep, we can't get the perfect content that we know our community wants to see. Oh, now you decide to turn your loud music off at 2 a.m.? 2 a.m. in the morning, you decide to turn that off. That's so kind of you. So kind of you. Brianna's at least trying to keep up on the house. The best that she can. I mean, she got level 3 in handiness, so that's actually not doing too bad. She's improving her skills as she goes throughout the day, and she's helping keep the house the best it can possibly be. How's he doing? He's got work at 9. It's not doing too bad. But his everything that he needs for work tomorrow is completed. He's got level 4 in programming and level 3 in video game. So that's starting his day off, right? I want this onesie. Recently, ever since this December, uh, this past December that we just had, I'm obsessed with onesies. I don't know, if, again, if you guys saw any of my live streams, but I had a Rudolph onesie, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it, and it's super comfy. Oh, Mia is not able to keep up with Brianna in her very slow speed. But it's okay, look how cute they are as they go for a jog to the city together. Brianna still has to go do her stream of the, the neighbors, but you know. We got all the time in the world with her being a full-time streamer. Somebody just left some food out on the ground. No big deal. They look so cute going for their jog together. Oh, she is glitched. She's glitched. She's glitched. There we go. Now she needs to just finish up the effects. She is tense. Why are you tense? From neighbors being noisy again? Oh my gosh. They can never catch a break. They need to get out of this apartment. We only have about 15k to go. And then we can go ahead and move them out. I truly believe that we can get them in a nice place. Maybe not big, but it will be a start. It, like we, we can get them somewhere. 
I'm trying to spend as much time with her as possible because I feel like I don't ever like use the pets and I'm afraid that because I've never used the pets in my game as much as I would really truly wish that I have. It's just, oh, she got level one in pet training. Um, I'm trying to make sure that I incorporate them into the game because I know that you guys have been really wanting them to be incorporated into the game for this Sim series. And I truly am excited to have them. I think in a couple episodes we'll give a hero into it. And we'll kind of go from there. But for right now, we have Mia and Flurry. And super cute Flurry is right here. Mia has become good friends with Brianna. Oh, that's so cute. They're just playing fetch inside. She just keeps running over her sister. It's fine. And I think Mia, Mia has officially... I don't know. She, I haven't gotten a notification saying she's officially learned it yet. But Brianna is super uncomfortable. We need to make some food. I was a little unsure mm. about choosing a Oda. freelancer to Oka. do such an important job, but you delivered. Thanks a bunch. So Bob just completed his job as a freelancer, um, and he got $177. So that's good. I'm actually going to have... Ooh, yay! Mia Oda. has officially learned how to play Maureen. fetch. She's up until like 3 o'clock every morning. He goes to work at 9 a.m. every morning. Like, they don't have a lot of time together, but as soon as... As soon as they start getting things situated, they they will start to they will start to move forward with each other. Like I truly am excited to see what's going on. And I mean, when Bob and I started dating, if I remember correctly, um, we didn't. I mean, we got a good amount of time together, but there was sometimes he was working at the golf court. Um, golf no, golf course. A uh, golf court. Can you speak? There's a me in the closet. There's a me in the closet. Uh, there was times that he was working at the um, go kart track and he didn't get home until super late so like i mean it's realistic it definitely is realistic she's uncomfortable but she also wants to eat some popcorn and cook pet food so i'm gonna actually pin that cook pet food because i really want her to make some pet food for the pets i mean he wants to eat the brownies for breakfast i don't blame him i do not blame him at all she has just been the last couple meals that she's made has not been good due to the fact that her mood has not been a hundred percent I've noticed when playing The Sims, if your Sims are not in a good mood, then they definitely make poor food. We can deal with it, because let's be realistic. Not everybody makes the perfect food every single time. We all make some bad, bad foods, and we get, along, we get along in life pretty well, don't we? And if you're saying that you've never made a bad meal, just, just stop now, because you're lying to yourself. You truly are lying to yourself. We've all made a... Like, you can't just pick up cooking and be like, yeah, I'm the best at it. You have to learn the skills. Cooking is a science just like baking. 2,810 simoleons! We got $339 from our terrible neighbors. We're doing good, guys. Mia keeps getting up on the couch in this game. I'm just like, no, Mia, you can't get up on the couch because you don't do it in real life. But she's also so cute. So I'm just like, I don't want you to stop. Just give me the cuddles. And we're going to title this specific baking stream, or well, baking video. It's going to be called Oatmeal for the Win. Hashtag classic. Hashtag baking. Hashtag give it a try. Because not a lot of people like oatmeal cookies, and they're not terrible. They are not terrible. I actually really like it. I really like a good oatmeal cookie. But the issue that I've had with running into oatmeal cookies is, at least with my experience, they have, um, I've experienced them being pretty dry. And if an oatmeal cookie is dry, I don't like it. I need it to have flavor and I need it to melt in my mouth. Just like work, 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 work. I guess you don't want to be disturbed. You guessed right. You guys decide to be loud and obnoxious. Yes, he got promoted. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. yes! He got promoted to project manager. Bob now makes $10 more, making 73 simoleons an hour. He got a 760 simoleon bonus, and he got the hipster hugger. He starts work again at 9 a.m. on Thursday. So he has Saturday and Sundays off again. She's just got so much baked goods in this house. Sounds like, sounds like my house. Because realistically, I have a lot of baked goods in my house almost all the time when I'm baking. Oh my goodness, it's so cute! Oh! oh. And we just got a notification saying she gained 20 more followers by Instagramming her pet. And we're going to sell this one. We'll leave that there. And then we'll get some pictures of our, our Mia and everybody, too. And honestly, guys, I am personally going to leave it right here. Um, Bob has gotten quite a, quite a bit of things done in this... In this episode, he is now level 5 in the Tech Guru career. Brianna has uploaded quite a bit of videos. 
in order to really get them going. We're only 10K, not even 10K away from the 30 grand that we wanted to, to possibly move out of this noisy apartment. Um, I'm actually really excited. I didn't want to put the episode where Brianna goes to the award nomination just in case. There's nothing exciting that happens in the next episode, but let's be realistic. There's going to be a lot that happens in the next episode that is also exciting, but that will be one of them. So keep an eye out for the next episode so you guys can see those. I'm super excited about it because that is going to be one of the first premieres that Brianna is going to where she has been nominated for an award for one of the edit edited videos that she's posted up on YouTube. With this content creation job, she has been going through so much. She's been putting out a lot of effort into it, as well as keeping her family life at home super happy and doing anything that she can to help support Bob in his careers and his in his choices along the life. Um, <laughs> definitely make sure you guys drop a like and a comment in the video below so that I can see what you guys think about it. And also really helps me out when you guys like and comment those videos. As well as don't forget to hit that little subscribe button up at the top, making sure you ding that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And until next time guys, I hope you have a great one and I'll see you later. Bye!